Now joined by Courtney Messingham. He is the new offensive coordinator at Kansas State. Mess, let's talk a little bit about start to finish here in spring. What's impressed you the most about your guys? Well, probably should have expected it, but just their work ethic, their desire to be successful, and, and they jumped right in and started learning from day one. It's really interesting when you look at this offense. It's obvious it's going to be somewhat different from what's been in the past. Let's talk about maybe like the shotgun as opposed to the quarterback under center. What are going to be the differences there? Well, we're, we're, we're going to do both. We've got to have a guy that understands getting under center and, and being able to still throw the ball. Um, it's got to be important to him. But then we'll get in the gun and we're going to run the football. Um, so we got to make the teams defend the pass or the run, no matter if we're under center or if we're in the gun. What kind of advantage was it for you to have Colin Klein here and know so many of these guys? I would think that would be paramount. Yeah, obviously from a quarterback standpoint, it's huge, but it's even bigger when you start talking about what are the old linemen about? What's their mindset? How do they take coaching? Um, and then with the receivers and the tight ends and pullbacks, he's got a really good handle on who those guys are as people, and that's a huge deal for us. What's the advantage for you, too, of working in this league previously? I think that would be big, too. Well, I think it's big because uh, you got a good idea of what the mindset of most of the defenses are. Um, and, and because of the style of football that everybody else plays, everybody is, is more of a fastball team um, to try to get lined up and just snap it. And we got to be different. And, and we're going to use the clock. We're going to use different formations, different personnel groups, and, and make them defend hopefully the whole field. You coordinate the offense, but you also coach the fullbacks and the tight ends. And in this offense, those are two paramount positions. What are your thoughts about how those guys are doing this spring? You know, they've done a really, really good job, and the biggest reason is because they understand fullback or tight end, it's got to be interchangeable. So all of a sudden, you'll see Blaze Gammon out there at 6'7 in the fullback position, and you'd say, well, why? Well, because there's things he brings to the table that we got to get the most out of him, and sometimes it may be being a fullback that moves and, and, and catches the ball on the flat. You've coached a long, long time. I'm curious as to just these guys and the, the, uh, the quickness in which they have picked up all of the things that you guys have taught in basically 14 and a half practices here. It's been impressive. Well, believe it or not, we did not, we did not slow things down. We put the install in exactly the way that we did at North Dakota State last spring. Um, and our guys didn't blink. Our guys spent a lot of extra time on their own watching video and, and going back through playbooks. And I'm excited about working with them. You do not have a whistle around your neck like everybody else. I would like for you to give a, a little example of why. Would you do that for me? Well, that way I don't have to go find a whistle each day, so I just kind of give a little and, 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 and that would be it. So, hey, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Mass. Appreciate it.